everyone, so on the market there are dozens and dozens of a memorial keepsake items. And you can do jewelry, you can do stepping stones, quilts, uh, the, taking someone's shirt and turning it into a pillow has been a new one that's been out there lately. You can go to all sorts of stores. Etsy has become a big sale site for these type of things as well. So wanted to bring to you another little idea for a keepsake item. And we are over here at the, we'll say workshop of Leslie, and she is going to show us how to make one of these crosses. And um, she had posted this on her sales site and we kind of came up with the idea that we could use maybe a loved one's shirt or you could do, you know, baby onesies if you lose a child, or you could maybe do favorite blankets, or you could use someone's ties. So there's all these ideas, and we're gonna dive in and check this out um, using a shirt of a friend of mine's dad that passed away recently. So we're gonna be making a keepsake item for him. So check it out. All right, so this is Leslie, and Leslie has, I think, more creativity in her finger than I have in my whole body. Um, she does so many cool, amazing things. And so she is going to show us how to make one of these crosses, and how many days does this usually like the production? Three to four, just depending on, because um, I have to let the stain dry once I cut it, sand it, stain it, um, and then the fabric also. Once we cut it and glue it, we have to let that dry before we attach it. So it's quite a, a process, yes. but you can have multiple going right in the different stages. Mm -hmm. So Leslie has started doing one, and so we have, she's got all the boards cut for this first one, and she has stained, smell, whoo, <laughs> the stain. Um, so she has already stained this one, and you can choose, I mean, you could stain them. Any color. Any color yep. to match, or you could paint them. Mm -hmm. Yep, have and you done this one is one preventical. Yet? Um, I haven't, but that's a good idea. You could paint or mm -hmm. even, I feel like there's so many things yeah. you could do with these. It yeah. just like, the more we look at them, the more excited I get about <laughs> them. <laughs> one that we're gonna make today I had contacted my friend whose father-in-law died and he always wore this shirt when he worked with his son out in their garage so it is a little um, kind of vanilla but mm -hmm. this was very special to him so when we see the cross done only he will really know the meaning to it um, whereas some of them if like you used maybe your dad's flannel shirt or work ties, you would know more specifically what it was. Um, but I think that's kind of the cool thing about it is you can choose any pattern. Um, mm -hmm. I love this one that Leslie did. I think it's so pretty um, that you could match it to your favorite curtains or you could match it to maybe a quilt or use like a quilted Ooh, my mom quilts that would be mm -hmm. a yeah. fun doing like a, have somebody quilt the things mm -hmm. for you and yeah. then mm, so many <laughs> ideas i love this whole thing so leslie's going to show us what we do then with the material or the fabric once we have it so I think with this one, the best thing is going to be to cut it this way. Okay. Because we need how many strips of fabric? We'll need two strips, one to go across this part and one to go across this part. Okay. And see if we cut it this way, I think as long as we go side to side, that's a good length. Okay.
are we're back a few days later and Leslie has gotten everything dried and we're going to go on to the next step creating this cross so what are the next steps Leslie yes so next we will attach the fabric to the back just staple it on there and then we bunch up the fabric in the middle and we stick the flower on there and then we put the hanger on the back side so it's so, ready to hang and I love so these little metal flowers uh, they kind of just are that perfect finishing piece and we've talked like if you did like a baby onesie or something you could put a little pacifier or a little booty um, we had talked because this gentleman was uh, construction he you know worked out in the um, the tools and every well with tools and everything and so we had talked about maybe taking a little tool and doing on the cross that we're doing today we didn't find one that was quite right but there's so many different options of the things you can do and every time we look at them I get really excited <laughs> so let's see how we construct the rest of our cross our final product of the memorial cross that Leslie created so it's this one turned out so simple um, since it was a simple white shirt that we used and I love it so you can really add to the color and the expression of it depending on the item of clothing that you choose so really excited how it turned out cannot wait to give it to the family that it is meant for and to see how much they love it as well uh, if you are in the Southwest Michigan area and are looking to get one of these created for you, uh, follow the links down in the description of the video to Leslie's page, um, to her Facebook, and to her Etsy, and you can get one ordered as well. Or if you're crafty, try it at home. Thanks for joining me, guys, and send me some of your unique, cool ideas for making memorial pieces for your loved ones. Bye. Thank you.